Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 3 of This Would Have Helped Me. Today I'll show you how to export your game to Linux using uh, Game Maker Studio. Because it, it isn't very easy, it isn't as with, um, with for example Unity where you just click a button. Here you have to have a separate machine and everything. It's, it's quite likely that you stumbled upon this article. Uh, I'll link to it in the description. It's quite useful, but there's qu there's also a few things that actually um, I had to figure out on my own because <laughs> because they just weren't listed here, and also because I used a virtual machine because I didn't want to bother buying a separate computer just to export to a separate platform. And I'll show you how to do this. <laughs> um, it's easy. It's free. Um, and if you watch this video, you'll just know how to do it, and there's basically no downsides to it. So first of all, go to this page, download VirtualBox, then go to this page, and download the latest version of Ubuntu. Um, over here it says it needs to be 14.04, but I use, uh, but I use 18.04, and it doesn't cause any problem, and it doesn't cause any problems. So just. Um, <laughs> Once you've installed the virtual box, just open it up. Oh, there it is. And then you want to click new. Uh, give it a name. Uh, set it to Linux and not Oracle. Ubuntu 64 bit. Um, some name. Next, next, go through this entire process. Uh, and then once it's once it's finished, you want to go to settings. Um, first of all, storage, and make sure that here. Uh, oh well, I've got it. I've got us. Um, I saved it instead of turning it off. But basically, uh, here you get to click this little button over here, and you'll need to um, add that ISO that you downloaded from this page. Download an ISO file, and you'll need to click this button over here, and um, and you'll need to uh, com uh, attach the disk, basically. <laughs> or you can, or you can just do that once you've actually turned on the system. I think you can also do that. But this is very, very important step over here. Go to network, make sure there's a bridged adapter, and when you go to advanced, allow all. Okay. And then start the system. It should go through some kind of um, installation process. <laughs> it might take a few, maybe an hour or two. Um, just make sure that you remember your login details, because those will be useful later on. Now if you go over here to terminal and type in if config and by the way to all the ubuntu know hows i know that there's that, you, that there's ip adder but i just find this more intuitive simply <laughs> and you'll look for npost3 or something similar to this inet and this number over here 192.168.1.77 and when you go to game maker Click this little target button over here. Just set this to Ubuntu, and there shouldn't be anything here. So you just click the little pencil, add a new device, and you type in all of the things. Uh, display name, the display name, host name is just this address over here. Uh, username and password are for your Ubuntu computer, <laughs> ones that you that you made for your account on on your Ubuntu computer, and this. Just leave it as it is. And now click test connection. And hopefully it should give a tick. But if it doesn't, then I'll show you exactly what to do. So in my case, it's successful. But it's, it's, it's likely that it won't happen with you. And um, I'll show you in a second why. And how you can fix it. If you go to CMD uh, on your Windows computer, uh, basically, what um, what GameMaker is doing is it wants to uh, access your Ubuntu computer from your Windows computer. 
So it runs to kind of remotely connect to it, so that it can then um, compile the actual code and then send it back to your Windows computer. At least that's how I understand it. I'm not sure if it's technically correct. And to do this, it uses such a thing called Secure Shell Network, which is uh, SS which is called an SSH command. Uh, first of all, what you want to do is uh, ping this address. And then should uh, write something like this, if it sends um, something like that it doesn't exist or, or like connection not something, uh, then you kind of already know that you've got a problem on your hands. If you Also, if you type in SSH, um, your account name, in my case it's Penniki, over here you can see, uh, at 192.168.1.7, then it should ask for your password. And that's how you know that basically everything is okay. And if I if it just close this, if this doesn't happen and it um, it says that uh, it, it waits for a second and then says uh, connection timed out, then you've got your chain. Then you've got to change this IP address. So if you go over here uh, and type in IP config, and should send you a big block of text. And you're looking for, you're looking for this one over here, I think. Yes, this one over here. 192.168.190. In the odd case that these two are the same, um, then that's why it doesn't work, and you, you'll need to change this one. <laughs> and the reason is, and also the reason why we set this to a bridge adapter, is because uh, we want this to behave like a separate computer. Because a bridge adapter essentially um, uh, says that this virtual machine is actually another computer on your network and uh, NAT, I think, uh, adapter uh, basically um, thinks that uh, says that this, this virtual machine is the same as your Windows computer. And that's not what you want here because you want to remotely connect to it through GameMaker. So, what do you need to type into here? Uh, sudo if config and all of this will be in the description, by the way, if you just want to copy it. I know, so I forgot it, so let's just uh, over here. Uh, if config, then go to, then copy this little string of characters. In my case, it's n plus three. In your case, it will probably also be n plus three. Then the new address that you want to set. Uh, sample file to set it to seven eight, and I'll type in seven eight, but I don't want to mess up everything. Uh, um, net mask 255.255.255.0 Enter. It'll ask you to put in your password. And then it should hopefully not respond with anything. Type in if config again. And this should be your new address. And then, very important second step. sudo root add default gw, your new address. And then this uh, uh, thing that we mentioned earlier, the, this this thing. And then, of course, this says that file exists because I already said it. But you can just always check root minus n, and that should that should say oh, this is weird. Um, that should basically say over here uh, 0.77 your your old um, uh, or your new IP address. And then over here, this, this n plus 3 thing. And that basically means that everything is right, because this is the kind of the root. Um, it basically tells, tells all their computers which IP address to use for this machine. So, um, finally, go over here, put, copy paste all of these into, into this terminal, um, install all of these. If you're using YYC uh, over here, why I'm seeing, I never use it because I, it basically makes everything not work for some reason. Uh, but if you are using it, then you need to also do these, and finally do this one, and also do this one. All of these are in the description. And yeah, and then once you've, once you've finished all of that, then you should be able to just, okay, click this button, and then just save it. And then uh, what I'd recommend you do is, um, after the terminal, you just 
When you close it, you save the machine state. So all you need to do whenever you want to export to Linux, you just open up VirtualBox, open up this uh, virtual machine, export, close the virtual machine, close VirtualBox. Very simple. Oh, and don't forget to change the target as well. So that's it. It's quite simple. Uh, and this is how you can very easily export to Linux and get more players to play your games. Thank you for watching another episode of This Would Have Helped Me. I'm currently developing a binary programming game called 1000-bit. If you enjoyed this episode of This Would Have Helped Me, then I'd really appreciate it if you joined the Discord in the description.